Guys, I have a confession to make. I am a fucking idiot. Well, at least according to CEO John Ritchie Rich, the man in charge of my personal choice of engine, Unity, who in a recent interview when talking about Unity's recent murders and executions with popular malware distributor and monetary predators Iron Strap-On. He said, at least in short, that people who don't think about raping people of their wallets during development of their games are fucking idiots, although I do think I might be paraphrasing. But you know what? This just got me thinking. Maybe I'm being a little too light with monetization of my own game that I'm currently developing. Just way too generous. Maybe I'm the fucking idiot he's talking about. After all, what would I know? Unlike John, I was never the ex-CEO of EA during the prestigious award recognition as America's greatest company. Two years in a row. Also departing the company for making them too much money. So it's time to take the almighty Jesus himself, John McDuck's top business advice and turn foot jowls into the mean, green, money-making machine it could be, all with a sense of pride and accomplishment. This is my game, Foot Joust. You probably haven't heard of it. It's a mobile game and an endless runner, the type of game prone to exploitative predatory behavior. So, as a fucking idiot, I decided to keep monetization plans to an absolute minimum simple one-off 99 cent microtransaction to remove all ads but really it's more of a developer's support donation as for the ads themselves they only play on a specific type of gameplay mode that isn't actually the primary gameplay loop players can buy crates in the game that contain loot with coins only obtained during gameplay and then simply smash them all open by watching one ad the player can bring as many crates as they want to this game mode a gameplay mode they will only play very infrequently but the Church of Capitalism hosted by our Lord and Saviour Johnny Boy has enlightened me and made me realise I was wrong. Let's get started. First of all, in-game currency. Outdated, antiquated, and just plain old. You know what is the new black? Real world money for game purchases. Why would you fuck around like an idiot trying to earn coins in a game when you can just buy them? That real cash you have in your back pocket. So my first update will be to remove all coins from gameplay runs. Now, the only way to get in-game currency is a credit card swipe away and a special bundle pack of 100 coins for $5, 1,000 coins for $90, 10,000 coins for a very small fee of $20,000. Fuck you. Next, more ads. Every time you die, add. Every time you want to select an enemy for your run, add. Quit the game, add. Want to enable the UI, add. Every time you level up, Add. If you even think about dying, add. Fuck you. Want music and sound effects? For a one-off purchase of $70, you can enable them. Fuck you, suck my dick. But back to ads again. No way to get rid of them now. Instead of that microtransaction, it's a now one-off purchase of $110,000 to unlock absolutely everything. Fuck you. And now, for the biggest update yet, we're going to move to a live service model. That's right, I'll be releasing the full, incomplete version of FootJoust tomorrow, ready to go with cash machine support. Now, you will just get all the new content progressively over time when I fucking feel like it. Thank you, John Rickety Cricket. I've seen the light. I am sure all three people who download my game will become my super cash cow, money-making trains to money city, and now converted and have become a former fucking idiot because today games don't launch they live and now i can build my robust business with a much better compulsion loop whatever the fuck that means